guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my favorite hair care products and a little bit of a background about my hair and what I do now and how I've grown it out. If you guys have been watching me for a while or if you just go back and check out my old videos, you'll notice that I have short hair and now it's finally growing out. Thank you. God. So if you guys want to know all my favorite products and what I kind of do for my hair right now, just keep all watching. right, you guys. So a little bit about my hair story is that basically I have been bleaching my hair since I was between the ages of eight to ten and before that, since I can remember in like first grade, my mom was putting sun in my hair in the summers. Um, because I really, really wanted blonde hair. So, um, I've always had blonde hair. My natural hair color is this, like, dark root up here. But, uh, you know, typically I'd be full blonde. But just these past three, four months, I've really just gone, like, and really just been going with my roots. Just because it's a lot easier to upkeep blonde that way. Otherwise, you'll have roots every, the day you get it done, the next day you'll have roots. That's just how it goes with blonde hair, especially if you have dark roots. So I was like bleach, platinum blonde. My hair was white at one point. Seriously. I loved that hair. I miss that hair. I wish I could go back to it, but it was just not for me. So the past two years, I've only gotten my hair done twice. So I do it once a year. Basically, every single time it's been because I was going on vacation. Um, but I just like keeping my hair with the darker roots fading into my blonde because I will never get rid of this. Sometimes we add in blonde pieces again just because I want to brighten them back up because it's a little bit brassy. You can't really tell in the camera. I don't, well, maybe a little bit. It's a little bit brassy in some parts, but I don't actually mind that. But sometimes I just like add in some of the white pieces again because I really like that. So. But like I said, I only do it once a year. So, yeah. Um, and basically, the past two to three months, it's been really rough with big mats in the back of my head. Um, from me, just, I don't even know. It was just, my hair was just so dry. I had to get my hair deep conditioned twice a month. And I should have been going a lot more than that. But I just didn't have the time because my hairdresser is like, lives kind of far from me and I hate finding new hairdressers because they scare the shit out of me so yeah my number one lifesaver is this Aussie three minute miracle moist um, moisture happen to me like this okay this is the Aussie three minute miracle moist three times moisture in three minutes so this product is the jumbo size of it this is 16 fluid ounces you can pick this up for four to five dollars um, they do have a smaller size I don't remember how many ounces that is if it's eight or ten I think it's eight um, but it's about three dollars two fifty three dollars something like that I love this product it smells fruity florally it smells so good, but it's also a deep conditioner. It's super hydrating. So what I like to do is I'll go into the shower, I'll put it in my, the ends, I'll get my hair wet, put it in the ends of my hair, and then I'll go ahead and clean my face and my body and scrub and whatever I need to do. And then I will go ahead and put my shampoo in and then I'll wash this out at the very end. So it does actually stay in for a really long time. Shampoo is this Maui Moisture Strength and Anti-Breakage Plus Agave Shampoo. So this you can pick up at Walgreens. It is a little bit pricey. Um, you do get 13 fluid ounces, but it is $8.99 for this bottle of product. However, this brand um, is, I don't even know, what is this made with? This is me. This is the brand made with um, aloe juice as the first ingredient. So I think this is a really cool product. It sounds like I'm being sponsored. Please sponsor me because I don't want to pay for this product anymore. A great shampoo. It's really gotten rid of the dryness in my scalp. I used to suffer from dandruff and it's really not showing up as much. I do still have it, but I don't have it as much. It's just very tiny here and there. This product smells amazing as well. Oh, I just like shoved it on my face. It smells fruity, it smells like agave, it smells, um, what does it smell like? What does it smell like? What do you smell like? I don't really know. It just smells fruity in like a, like a salon product. It just smells really good. 
so I love it. And I love you think the packaging is so cute too. It's just like a cute little like bottle. You do not see like your shampoo bottles looking like this. So when I'm going to blow dry my hair, I like to use this Maui Moisture Thicken and Restore uh, plus a Bamboo Fibers Blowout Mist. And this is for weak, brittle hair. So it looks like this. This is from the green line, clearly. This is the Bamboo Fibers line. That was the Agave line. Um, and at that time, they were having a buy only of a 50% off sale. This is also $8.99. Everything in that range is like $8.99, I'm pretty certain. There might be like one or two things, but most part, for the most part, they're $8.99. This smells kind of like a man. I mean, it smells like bamboo. I don't mind the scent. It's not like fruity or anything, but I like it. And what I do is I just kind of spray this all over my hair and then I go ahead and blow dry it and then I spray it after I blow dry my hair. So this is supposed to help like, uh, what, here we go. It's supposed to revive and strengthen your brittle damaged hair. So I do have super weak brittle hair. Like I said, it's super dry. I can literally just like go through my hair and pull it out and did I get anything? Not that time. But most of the time that's kind of what happens with me. Um, my hair kind of falls out though because of a medication that I used to take. Anyways, um, it's got bamboo fibers in it, castor oil and neem oil. It's the same brand. It's vegan. It's all that great stuff I just mentioned to you guys. And yeah, I just really love I love this line. I wish they were sponsoring me. I wish they sent these products to me, but they didn't. I just was like, I need to try shampoo. You're going to have to spend more money on one and just try whatever. I've been wanting to try this brand for a while. Typically, I would have just purchased the shampoo, but I really knew I needed something like this. This gives me a beautiful glow. It's a heat protectant and um, just really has helped to strengthen my brittle, dry split ends basically which is amazing so thank you Maui Moisture please sponsor me guys tweet this video to them because I haven't heard anybody talk about them next product also when I'm blow drying my hair I use the not your mother's naturals royal honey and Kalahari desert melon repair and protect leave-in conditioner for damaged hair helps to repair and prevent signs of damage. So this product was actually sent to me months ago, but I recently started using it more and more and more within the past three months. So I love this product. I'm totally gonna purchase this again. Um, there are no sulfates, silicones, synthetic dyes, or parabens. Um, it's gluten, there's no gluten in it. Uh, what is this? It's made in the USA, that's great. Um, I don't think it is vegan though. It's not. But I really like this product. I'll spray it in the ends of my hair and then I'll blow dry my hair out. Or, you know, right now my hair is dry. I could spray it in again just to add some extra. There's a hair. Just to provide extra moisture. But I basically just put this in when I'm blow drying my hair. I absolutely love this product. I do know this is about, um, I want to say it's like five to six dollars, something like that. You do get eight fluid ounces. And uh, yeah, I was sent this product. This is not sponsored video by Not Your Mother's Naturals though, but I was sent to it from Influencer months ago when I was out of filming and I'm just now getting around to mentioning it to you guys on YouTube, but maybe you've already seen it on my Instagram. I don't know. I do use a dry shampoo. This is the Hask Manoy Coconut Long Lasting Oil Absorption um, which is free of sulfates and parabens, dry shampoo. Um, spray it in your hair and it will kind of soak up any excess oil if you're looking a little bit greasy. Um, so I like to shake it up and then I spray it. Oh, that scared me. I don't really like the way this product smells. It smells kind of chemically and it smells fakey. Okay, as far as hair tools go, um, this is really gross my hair is all over it but I like to use a paddle brush that's like this this is by Kala it's nothing special but I like the paddle brushes with these like fine plasticky bristles they're kind of like the wet brush but a little bit better because I need something a little bit thicker and harsher to like get my tangles out the wet brush just wasn't doing it for me so I know it's got my hair all over I could have cleaned it but I didn't want to this is the reality of my hair falling out um but yeah I just use a paddle brush like so for a curling wand if I ever want to curl my hair I use the infinity by Conair curling wand and it kind of goes small to large I do really like this guy I haven't used it in a while because I just don't use that much heat the only heat I really tend to use would be a straightening iron and my hair 
air dryer. That's really it. But um, the cool thing about this is that you can set the temperature anywhere from 310, 330, 360, or 400, and it gets hot very quickly, and it hold and it gets your curls. Um, it curls your hair like really quickly as well. Hair dryer I use. I'm pulling everything out. The hair dryer that I use is the Gem Force uh, Intense Ceramic Science Hair Dryer. This was from TJ Maxx. I got this for Christmas. This is just the hair dryer that I use. Um, I really like this hair dryer. Um, I would totally get this type of hair dryer again because there are different settings. Um, you have two different settings for how quickly the air is blowing out and then you have four temperature settings so you have a cool blast and then you have a low heat setting a medium heat setting and a high heat setting so i think that's really helpful too especially if you like to style your hair uh blasting your hair setting your curls the cool the cool blast is really nice. Um, if you only need to dry just a tiny section, you can only put it on like one or two just to get your section like dried and then you're good to go. Other products that I really enjoyed that were already mentioned in my empties video, I do really like the Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner. Looks like this. This is the big guy. Again, this is five bucks at Walmart. You get 29.2 fluid ounces. And I really like this. It's not as hydrating as the Miracle Moist, but it is still really hydrating. So this is something that I would finish with. And this is what I would start my shower with. And I'd finish with this. Favorite hairspray. This is still it. The L'Oreal Paris Elnut Satin Extra Strong Hold Hairspray. Love this hairspray so, so much. So yeah, this is completely empty. I wish it wasn't. It does have a weird scent, but I don't mind it because you literally could put your hairspray in and it you won't even be able to tell that it's in your hair. Nobody will. So it doesn't give you helmet head, if you will. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Be sure to share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this. And if you're interested in any of the products that I talked about today, um, just look down below in the down bar and the products will be listed and linked for you guys to find them easily and purchase on your own. I'm not sponsored by any of these brands, but let them know I want to be. All right, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.